Sunday, August 2nd, Ellicott. So I made another video, but I'm not gonna post that, and it was regarding the slope of this portion of the driveway right here. So it's about 10% max. Um, so I'm trying to get the side slope out of the equation and flatten it out in this direction at least. So in the winter you don't slide off the hill and kind of go into a ditch. So still a little work to do there. Um, but for the most part, this is definitely wide enough and drivable. I've driven the truck up here quite a bit. So it's doable. We'll probably have another driver that goes down over there anyway, so our slope in like the worst case scenario would only be like five degrees because we'll go this way and then down to the basement garage. So as we start walking up here, the plan is for this area to be kind of the parking area slash turnaround. And then the house was laid out on these marks. One, two, three, four. So the house might be rotated a little more back this way, kind of straight to the property. Because right now we're kind of at a reverse 45. So to kind of back up a little bit, say these logs would be your, this would be your front. Those logs would be your back. I'd say that those logs would be your, kind of the side. So you would drive in on this side and enter over here. This side would be at first floor elevation and these two sides would be a basement this would definitely be a basement elevation and this would be a half basement elevation and then the slope would come up the house and then it would meet that elevated concrete patio that would be up here and then it would come back to here and then we start to get up to the backyard which would be our like you can see there's this like natural divot right here and that is where we think first floor grade will be and then you exit you know basically right at backyard somewhere right around here and then this would be our backyard you know and have a fire pit back there somewhere so still clearing this out my chain is dull and or fucked up so I can't cut these logs right now but I keep chopping the tops off of them and burning them and the burn pile went great the other day it's huge so we got rid of a ton of stuff so still some kind of selective tree cutting to be done um, and then we can lay the house out better and then we have a better idea of what other trees need to be cut you know, like something like this tree and this tree, if I don't damage it anymore, they're nice trees and they might be able to stay. Um, same thing with like, that's that's a nice tree because it's not an ash. Therefore, it's not in any chance of dying anytime soon. All the ashes, whatever, fine, I'll cut them down. But um, if there's a non-ash tree, I'd like to save it. So, that's the plan. So let's kind of back up a little bit. Oh, I also wanted to record. So right here... That's 150 feet off of our downslope property line corner. That's by the backhoe over there before it goes, it goes down the slope and then it zigzags over. So it's 150 feet from there so we can kind of get a bearing of where we are. And then if we come back here, one of these trees, this is 100 feet on it. This one right here. So we're probably 150 feet 
from our property line that way as well. So in this direction, 150 feet, and from that direction, down slope, 150 feet. And that would be like the closest most corner and then the back corner. And then on the topo, you can see that right here, it starts that that line that hill starts curving back towards the property to give a sense of where we are on the topo okay i think that's it for the day